Hi, Dawn. So how's the program going for you? I am. I, it's amazing. I'm so happy that I found it. Um, I feel, I feel better already. Actually, I was telling Dr. Meesh just the fact that there's structure incorporated into your life. The fact that it reminds me that I have to take care of myself and not sit with not feeling well, but to be an active participant in my healing. So in other words, not giving into my menopausal symptoms, which have made me miserable. And when I get miserable, my thing is to sit around and feel more sick and do more destructive things. And what I mean by that is eat the wrong foods or not move as much or stop, or stop being, grateful. being grateful of what I have. So every morning now, this is, you know, put some structure in my life. I start with, you know, putting a, Med a word for meditation, my thought for the day, um, thank being having gratitude for what I have, and then I love in the middle of the day, I set my alarm to turn on one of your YouTube movement videos. So I'm moving. Um, it's interesting to read about how, you know, just to remind yourself, I mean, I know how to eat well, but to look at your menus and take a look at what kind of foods maybe you should not be eating and why, which is something I had forgotten. So planning ahead, making the right food choices makes you feel better. And it all comes together. Taking time for myself. If I don't take care of myself, nobody will. And the longer you don't take care of the self, yourself, the more not well you feel and the more negative you, th you become in your thoughts. So it's important to take the time. Um, and this, the structure of this program is easy because you, you're guided to do five tasks a day, you know, from when you get up in the morning to when you have your first meal to what you can do in the afternoon. And it's sort of just an easy way to get that structure to be able to take care of yourself. So my whole all attitude and mood is better. I've, I'm sleeping better. I'm, my clarity in my mind is better. And my whole attitude's better. And what I like the most is I'm moving more. Um, yeah, getting off that chair and doing those little exercises on the YouTube. Um, and just reminding myself, you know, I'm trying to get up every hour and walk around for 10 minutes. Um, so you've helped me with that a lot. And movement is important, as we all know. Breathing is important. So. Is you have the eating, the easy eating plan, where you list the grains, you list the meats, you list the spices, and that's what I'm following. That's easy for me to eat. You know, maybe not cook as intensely, uh, but still keep it plain and simple. And what's not on there, I'm not going to be eating. Eating. And again, I know all this, I did it for years, but it's just helpful. You have to ask for help sometimes and you have to be reminded. So that grid is great. Other than that, not so much. I mean, it's pretty explanatory and very easy to follow. And I feel involved. I feel like I'm taking control of my life. Yeah, I've been out of control for a while. So this is very helpful. Um, and then when I start to feel better, I'm going to just take this you know, make it a lifestyle, which I feel confident. Cause like I said, I, when you hit rock bottom, you're willing to try everything, but this is working. When I so get far. myself together, I would like to try to help women also somehow because you, this menopause, you don't know what, you don't know what's hitting you Yeah, and you don't get it. It doesn't click in your head that this is what it could be, or this is what's causing some of the changes in your mind and your body and your functioning. And it's like, what? You know, you develop all these, even at your best when you're healthy, backtrack five years ago and all these things started ha happening, the heart palpitations and the feeling like I want to die and, you know, the sweating and the changes and sleeping. I was up all night watching TV. Like you, you go to the doctor and the doctor's like this, you have no, you know, hormones left. And I'm like, so, you know, like it just doesn't click. Yeah. So I just see the need for such education because it's, it's real. Well, in general, I know that when I'm not taking the hormones, I just can't have a conversation. I can't remember anything. Mm -hmm. My mind gets stuck. That's a big problem because, you know, I have a very high functioning, you know, job and you can't go into a meeting or you can't present and you can't 
function or be your best when you can't remember and you can't remember your words. The second piece is when I when the estrogen starts to wear off because I am on the injections, um, I know because I'll be in the car sweating, I'll start to feel like I'm going to pass out, I'll have to put the car in park. That's another big symptom. The other symptom is I start to feel negative, like I start to think about death. Now, I'm not a psychiatric patient, <laughs> um, but I just start to feel like, what's the sense of living, you know, I just start to think horrible things and in, in my mind and it's, it's scary. Um, and then I have no motivation. I don't want to go out in the public and then I just stay home and I eat. So it's a vicious cycle. I had seen um, the gynecologist and she gave me the horse pills. I forgot what they were, the Prempro. No, the cardiologist gave them to me. I felt like a million bucks. I got side effects. So I went to the gynecologist. She put me on a little patch and then a progesterone pill. And I started bloating out like it was nobody's business. So then um, I started on the creams. And the creams were just not making a difference because I had all the symptoms. So then I found this doctor here in town. He's a metabolic specialist. And he gives injections. It's estrogen, uh, estradiol, estradiol. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's 15 milligrams, very low. And you go about every two weeks and then you're supposed to, oh, and with that, I take the progesterone from the um, alternative pharmacy, 125 milligrams. And you go there, you're supposed to start every two weeks and then go once a month. But what happened is at the end of two weeks, I started getting all those symptoms again. And I'm like, what? So I don't think it's the best for me and it's not realistic to go every two weeks. And I do feel like I, like now I'm thinking clearly again, I can remember things, I have motivation to go out and walk and follow this program. So somehow it's helping me.